All right, welcome back to the council. And we're going to talk to Piaggi now, since Mortimer told us that we were supposed to basically mind control him into writing a letter to the Pope. Although I've forgotten about what, but... Oh yeah, but the, about that he's changed his sides and that he now supports Mortimer's proposition concerning Louisiana. Alright, where is Piaget's room? Oh, of course, the complete opposite side of the map or of the mansion. That reminds me, I never checked in these corners, have I? Well, no matter. There won't be anything important there. That being said, I should check it out. Yep. Coins. Oh yeah. She's still crying. Should I? Actually, let me... I only have one of that. I don't want to keep it. Let me do it. I can tell from your voice that there's something wrong. Let me in. We have to talk, Emily. I said no, God damn you. We're gonna do it. She's been drunk. drinking. Why aren't I surprised? <laughs> do you think you'll find the solution in alcohol? Get out of here, Louis. I told you not to come in. And I entered anyway. First your sister, now my mother? How far will your anger go? Do, do you really think I'm not suffering? You know nothing. You understand nothing. On the contrary, everything that goes on in here is, is much bigger than you and me. You made your choices and, and now you're going to have to take responsibility for them. Look, I must tell you something important. Emily, listen to me. I'm fed up with talking. It's about what's happening here. It's about Mortimer and Holm. They're... I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. I, uh, uh, You? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. That makes you my sister? Yes. Just the thought of the night when I suggested that we... I feel so ashamed, Louis. I didn't expect that. That means Emma is your sister too. Thankfully, she will never know. No. No, it's... it's how could I have ever known? Emily? No. I didn't know. I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. Now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. Let me think about this. So, is Emma dead or not? Can you kill a demon just by shooting them? Because if you can't, then she's not dead. But if you can, then why wasn't she dead when Mother shot her? Or is Emma... Wait, no. I don't get it. I'm not attracted. We couldn't have known. We made a mistake, damn it. Ah, oh, that feeling... It hurts all of a sudden. I, she, she's there. I, I can feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't do that. Get out of my mind, please. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I, sorry, Louis. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's, it's very strange for me too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes, I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I thank you, Emily. Thank you for what? She hasn't done anything good. Apparently the floor has been cleaned though. Well, that was insightful. Good choice I entered her room anyway. 
All right, off to Piaggi. No, he's at the end of the corridor. I know that. Why am I checking that door? Just hope he's here and not out stuffing himself full of food again. Gone past it. God damn it. Me and my spatial awareness. Alright, where is he? That's not his room. So then is it that one? It is. His eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Was that the door I just ah, well, told myself to Louis, not check? What brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm gonna pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. Mm. What exactly is your role with regard to the Holy Father? I... What? What on earth is he playing at? It's coming. You're a cardinal in Pictori. Why don't you admit it? Impertinent little brat. Louis, I don't find this conversation in very good taste. All right, it's coming. Come on, Giuseppe, let me in. What? Uh, uh, I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. <laughs> Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with it and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. My dear Giuseppe, if my health does not allow me to honor Sir Holmes' invitation to go to Lord Mortimer's, I should be grateful if you would sit at a conference on my behalf. Naturally, you will give my thanks to your hosts. Consolidate our agreements with Sir Gregory and let him know that his venture regarding Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti is following its course. I have every confidence in you. May God bless and protect you. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Braschi Do not use your personal stamp when writing to me. Instead, use the one with my motto on it. The, tw the 31st of December, 1792. All right. Stamp with the mot with his motto on it. Stamp with motto. Okay. And the other letter. My dear Giuseppe, I know you are on your way to Lord Mortimer's residence. I hope you have a good trip, even though you're obliged to cross the French countryside at present very agitated. Know that this mission is crucial, my friend. May God bless and protect you. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Braschi, 17th of January, 1793. What are those? Right. Well, let's uh, no, start writing. No, not yet. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. I didn't mm, I didn't mean to write the content yet. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm. There. That should be enough to justify the change of vote.
All right, let me think about that secret code for a bit. What is it? G J G H F J Giuseppe uh, Carlo Bushiamonti has to be something to do with names I think the other letter is E H H B C F mm. I don't get it quite frankly It could be either to do with the dates or with names. I think it probably is the dates that are important. Hmm. There's a kind of code composed of six letters they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. And the letters from the Pope there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaggi's tattoo. It must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. Today, the date is 2401-1793. Do without the code is apparently very, very difficult. Okay. The 31st and the 17th both have a letter corresponding to it. So does the 24th. The 31st has the letter I. The 24th has the letter A and the 17th has the letter E. All right. Now, what does that mean? The 17th starts with E and then an H. The 31st starts with G and then a J. H F J Hmm I'll think about it for a bit and then I'll come back when I've got it. got it so you start at the letter that the number corresponds to so in our case 24 and then for each number in the date 
you go the number that it represents clockwise to like clockwise and that is the letter you choose so in the case of for example the 17th of january 1793 the 17th corresponds to the letter e the first letter in the month uh, the first number in the month is a zero so that stays at an e the second uh, second number is a one so you go one clockwise to the h then again one clockwise to the h seven clockwise that's two three four five six seven to the b nine clockwise two more to the c and three clockwise is one two three to the f so therefore we start at the a Go zero, so that's an A. Today the date is 2401-1793. A, then you would go one clockwise to the F. Today the date is 2401-1793. You don't have to repeat yourself, Louis, I've got this. We've got 1793. So we're again at the F. Today the date is 2401-1793. Uh, then we've got 7. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a C. Today the date is 2401-1793. Mm-hmm. Okay. 93. So that's two more. That's an H. Today the date is 2401-1793. And the last one is 3. So starting from the A, that's 1, 2, 3 is a G. Today is the 2401-1793. That's it. Wait, let me quickly recheck that. 0, that's an A. 1, that's an F. 1, that's an F, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the C. 9, that's 2 more, is the H. And 3, 1, 2, 3 is the G. That's it. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it must be in Latin. Well, obviously, yeah. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Okay. Flore in Domo Domini. Justizia, misericordia e umiltà. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. A circle with a cross inside. Okay, so that's not it. This has to be. On it, it is written, Flore in Domo yeah, Domini. This is it. Putting it in our own pockets. Your eminence, all ready to send. The... What's he doing here? Damn it. Oh, That's God. All I need. Don't worry. He can't can hear more us. effort. What do you mean he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Just calm down, calm down. Louis came to see me because he claimed he was hearing voices. We've just finished an exorcism session. And. Exorcism? Are you having me on? I can't see any exorcism instruments. That's because I've just put them away. I don't know what you're up to, Piaggi. But I do know you're trying to pull one over on me. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is. And there he stays. 
the perfect opportunity. <laughs> what do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? <laughs> Ach, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Hmm. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. Hmm. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi. You win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. That just wasted a lot of resources, but it's better than me being dead. Should have known that the occultism <gasps> excuse isn't gonna work. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the red salon. Close call. Is it talent? Which one is it? None of these, apparently. There it is. Succeeded in preventing von Volner from poisoning you. Okay. Glad I succeeded. In the dining room. Where is that again? In the dining hall, perhaps? So here. Turn around, go over there, Louis. And down the stairs. And into that hole. There's a good doorway. I'm just going to ignore him for now. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Dangerous. Here's your letter. I have to admit that the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. <laughs> Can't wait for the next time. Everything went as planned. I didn't encounter any particular difficulties. Well done, you. On my first try, well, it took me three goes. But you did it. Gregory, what can I do for you? I've just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the family. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. 
don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. Here he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. <laughs> Does he have an inferiority complex? I've told him time and time again, Louis. He always has to take it one step too far. How dare you? <laughs> You are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Don't stop him. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? Hmm. It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. When you speak of the right order, I can't help hearing your order. Louis, wouldn't you think that by now we've acquired a certain experience? Don't you think that we're the best place to know what the right order should be by now? I mostly understand that even with the best of intentions, this kind of talk could well be misinterpreted. Every powerful man has had to speak in this way at some stage. That doesn't mean that they were right or that they achieved great things. Take the kings of France, for example. They weren't all good monarchs. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. <coughs> if you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose, and shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? I am a demon. It's useless trying to resist my true nature. I am a demon. May as well accept it. The sooner the better. Even if I continue to live as a human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. I am a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? Don't have to think much about that. I shall follow my father, Sir Gregory. Very well. But don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense, but I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come. Follow me. It's time for us to get ready. Oh, 
What are you guys doing here? Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us, and we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is? You. Me. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards. Okay, that apparently went very well. No alternate paths, nothing failed. Great. That's a lot of experience. Eight available points. Mm. Nine points left before level three. That is annoying. Questioning goes up. For sure. Uh, politics. Etiquette. I'll put one in manipulation. And there we go. I'll see you guys in the next part.